everyone. It's been a while. Uh, I want to apologize that I haven't been around lately. Um, I've had some personal issues um, that have gotten in the way of me being around and communicating. Um, but so I apologize. Uh, that was my stuff to sort out um, to at least you know keep you guys in the loop and uh, arrange subs and stuff. But that didn't really happen. So, hello, I apologize, um, I'm still alive, and it's good to see everybody again. Um, so, yeah, I am back, and hopefully we'll be on top of things from here on out. I'm sorry, I just had a really crazy past month, um, so, but things are doing pretty well now, so it's all good. Um, so, the reason I am being festive, you know, not that there's never a bad reason to be festive, um, is because one of the topics this week, um, Keenan gave two topics to choose from, uh, one of the topics this week is how the holidays work with um, us as genderqueer people. Uh, so, bit of a bit of an interesting question for me at the moment because um I'm home now I'm uh, back in New England um and this holiday for me is going to be a big one as it's um when I intend to sort of fully come out to my family um and that's part of the reason that I've sort of not been around recently um, because there have been a few complications related to that. Um, so uh, for the past you know, few years it's been a bit difficult for me coming home because um, I live most of my most of the time now um, in a foreign country from, from my parents and um, from my you know, oldest friends. Um, so when I do communicate with them, it's either on Skype or, but when I see them face to face, it's sort of a special occasion. Um, and even though I've known, I've, I'm genderqueer and identified as genderqueer for about four, almost five years now, um, and gone by Jack, uh, with certain friends and online, um, and, you know, come to terms with my own identity, I think quite, you know, pretty nicely for me um I've not been fully out to my parents I've talked to them about gender related stuff I've talked to them about sexuality um but on the gender front um when I have tried to say I've never really been able to have a conversation on my own terms but when I have tried to say I am genderqueer um they've written it off and not taken it seriously um and I, I've never really felt like I've had a time where I've been able to come out, literally, you know, sort of sit down and have, have the conversation, as it were. So uh, lately, um, the holidays have been the times when I've thought about sitting them down. Um, but because that always ends up being, you know, the spend time with family time, um, I sort of hesitated because I haven't really wanted to mess things up. I have a pretty good relationship with my family, so I, I haven't really wanted to um, bring that up, I suppose. So, but this year, um, I'm, I'm really thinking it's, it's, I've gotten to a point where I feel it's kind of ridiculous that I've been going by two names and, um, you know, had uh, some of my closest friends all know that I'm genderqueer and that, you know, how I identify and how I prefer to be called in name and pronoun, um, and not have my family, you know, at least acknowledge this. So, uh, that's what's happening this year. In past, uh, hopefully, <laughs> I don't really know when that's going to come up, I think probably after Christmas, um, I'm, I'm a Buddhist, as is my dad, and my brother is Christian and my mom is sort of agnostic um, but we 
we celebrate Christmas um, and we'll probably be celebrating the new year in some fashion. So I've only got a couple of weeks, but that's going to happen. But in previous years, um, yeah, I suppose the holidays have always been a bit difficult as um, that is when I see my extended family, um, a lot of whom don't see me on a sort of day day-to-day -day basis or regularly enough to get a sense for how I identify and for the fact that I at least sort of present androgynously so a lot of times I get sort of awkward uh, Christmas gifts and whatnot like I get very effeminate stuff very gendered stuff um, though I think in the past few years um, that sort of lessened which has been nice but um, I think my, my family is kind of picking up on the fact that I at least don't, um, you know, that it, there's something going on with, with my gender. Um, and I think some of my extended Irish Catholic family um, sort of wonders uh, and is a bit worried about my sexuality. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, it's, you know, nothing to be to be brought up um with them especially at the holidays so uh yeah so that's that that's been my holidays thus far um i do tend to spend my new years with friends um and the past few years i've had some very queer new years as it were which i recommend everyone should have a queer new year um, so I have some tentative plans to, to spend, uh, New Year's with, with some queer friends, uh, which is always fabulous, and, um, it always gives me, or in, in previous years, it's given me a sense of, um, sort of hope for the New Year, I suppose, you know, that I, that I can be accepted as, as who I am, um, even you know, even if I'm just hanging out with some some people who are you know decidedly not like mainstream in terms of gender or sexuality, um, if that makes sense. So have a queer New Year, and I'll see you next Monday for sure. Um, yeah. So apologies again for my absence, and um, I will keep you posted about how the whole holiday thing goes uh but in the meantime happy happy lovely holiday and i will continue to be a obnoxious queer elf over in this corner so see you later <laughs>